Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kesley and today as you read by the title is going to be a vlog. And in this vlog I'm going to be doing a protein treatment on my natural hair because as I said in my last vlog, if you didn't watch last week's vlog, click up here, you know. As I said in that video, like my hair is like very dry, like I don't know if you could tell, I don't know if you could see it, but it's very dry. And it has been like very weak and I've been getting like breakage and stuff. I need a microphone because I'm kind of nervous so I'm going to talk on this microphone and hopefully you can hear me but um... <gasps> But yeah, my hair has been breaking off. It has been feeling weak. She needs to get with the program, so I'm gonna give her a protein treatment today. But after this protein treatment, I'm gonna blow dry and trim my hair because as I said, I don't wanna keep repeating myself, but she definitely needs to be trimmed because I haven't been taking Okay, I don't wanna keep repeating myself. Like, my hair is not hairing. Like, we finna get her together. So if that's something you're interested in seeing, definitely keep on watching. I went to the hair store the other day and I picked up my protein treatment. I didn't buy the shampoo because it was a bit expensive so i just wanted to get the two main ingredients hopefully it's not gonna do any like damage to my hair since i don't have the shampoo i'm not sure wish me luck i'm just using the shampoo that i already have in my bathroom so i'm just gonna shampoo my hair first and then i'm gonna get out the tub and then i'm gonna go in with the protein treatment i'm gonna put this into a spray bottle because fyi this is very sticky it's just nasty definitely help yourself and put this in the spray bottle once i have all the protein in my hair i'm just gonna let it air dry or i might go in with a blow dryer after that process i'm just gonna go back in the tub and mix it all out and then go in with this balance and moisturizer to balance everything out you're gonna see it i feel like i've been talking 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 and so we're gonna just get into it for all <laughs> focus oh i'm gonna get a towel and then pat my hair dry but this is how my hair is looking this is my protein it don't want to focus but this is how the protein looks so i'm just gonna section off my hair hopefully all the products is out my hair y'all i'm not sure i mean all i did was just use creams as i saw the last wash day so i'm just gonna comb it out and then you spray it. Hopefully you can see me. Oh, I'm finna get a towel. Can't forget about the ends, y'all, cause the ends is the most important part. Why is it so hard to come out? Like, and why is this not standing still? Like, be still. I don't like how it's spraying like this. Like, what is it doing? Why is it so hard? Now she acting like she don't want to come out. I might just go get my other spray bottle so I won't be stressed out like this. So this one ghetto, I'm just gonna pour it into here. Oh, what am I doing? This is so much more better and so much more easier. Got one side done. We almost finished. This process don't even take long. Ah! Right in my eye. I'm done. I am done. I'm just gonna use the rest because you know we waste no products over here. But yeah, look. <laughs> It's sticky. Oh my goodness, y'all. This product is so sticky, y'all. This always happens. So just be very mindful and aware that this is very sticky. I'm going to let it air dry for a little. And then I'm just going to go ahead and go in with my blow dryer to fully dry it. So I could just hurry up and get this process over with. But it's going to clean me up because I am very sticky and icky. Okay, so I'm done. My hair is stiff. Like, this is how she looks. So this is how it's supposed to look. This is how I always look every time I do this protein treatment. It's very stiff. Like, if you touch it, it don't even feel like hair. Like, ugh. but this is how the back looks. 
side, front, other side. Now I'm gonna go get in the tub and rinse it out and then come back out the tub and then dry my hair again. And then go in with the moisturizer and then let it sit for two minutes and then we're gonna be good. But again, my hair is extremely hard. It's stiff. I'm sticky. So let's just go get in the tub, please. Okay, yes. I'm gonna play some music though. <laughs> Okay, so I just rinsed everything out. This is how my hair is looking. It feels soft already. But so I'm gonna go in now with the balance and moisturizer, leave this in for two minutes, then get back in the tub, and then rinse it all out, and then style my hair. While you're doing your hair, please make sure that you are listening to some music. Make sure you are hydrated because it really takes a lot to do your hair. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm just glad I'm doing this to my hair finally. I don't remember the last time I did a protein treatment. This is what I like to do to keep my hair thick and strong and healthy because I have very thick type 4 hair. I don't even know my curl pattern to be honest. Mostly it's 4C. I do have 4B in some areas. But just honestly, not even that serious for real. Like, I don't really care about like the hair patterns. People really be arguing about a curl pattern and it was never that serious for real. Like, it's just hair. Like, I don't understand. Every curl pattern is beautiful. Whether you have 3C, 4C, 3A, 4B, you feel me? It's so beautiful. And love and appreciate the hair that grows on your head. I'm on my period, and it's like I feel the blood coming down. <laughs> like, like when I just laugh, I just feel a glob of blood just coming down. Yeah. Oh my goodness, why am I so bloody? Oh my goodness. This is ghetto. You didn't see none of that or hear none of that. I mean, I'm a female. As females, every month we gotta go through having a period. Mine's is honestly not that bad. The worst it has ever been, it was during Christmas break. Before I start my period, like, I just crave a lot of sweets. During Christmas break, it was even worse. Like, I was craving sweets so bad. So, one day, I had ate it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And y'all, that was the first time I ever experienced, like, cramps. It just felt so bad. <laughs> And I guess I could do a little story time about the time I had stole some donuts because like I said, I really love sweets. I'm not really good with telling story time, so please bear with me, but I was in third grade. I had just moved down south. I went to Coconut Palm with my sisters and brothers. We will always walk home together. When we got home, I know y'all had a long day at school. You just want some food. So my stepmom, she kept all of the goodies, all of like the chips and the sweets. She kept everything in her closet because we would just eat everything up. And so she had to hide some stuff so we won't eat everything. So she would hide, y'all know the little powdered white donut, she would hide those in her closet. It was heaven back there. So every day I would come home, go up in her closet and get me some powdered white donuts. I used to do that like almost every day. <laughs> and then eventually she had found out that the donuts was missing. So she had a little meeting with everybody. She was like, so yeah, the donuts is gone and I just want to know who stole it. Immediately they had thought like it was either Dre or Yanni. Yanni was like, nah. I ain't do that this time. And Dre, he didn't really care if like it was blamed on him because like he used to get in trouble. So he was gonna let me slide. But then they was like, alright, we gonna take your game away. And then he never was like, nah, I'm not going out like that. So he was like, check everybody with bags. He knew that I had kept the wrappers in my book bag because I didn't want to throw it away. And they had checked my book bag and saw it and then I had got in trouble. My daddy put me on his lap and then he whooped me for stealing. And from that day forward, I did not steal anymore. So that was a little story time of me stealing. I was really a good girl growing up. I always wanted to sneak out, but I just never did because I always thought I was going to get caught, so I never snuck out or anything. So I was mainly a good child, but I have dibble and dabble it sin. I was not that perfect good child. I never snuck out or anything. Oh, oh, I'm lying. I actually did. <laughs> I did one time. I mean, I snuck out to the front of my house. Like, I didn't even go nowhere. It was my freshman year of high school. This boy, he had a crush on me. We knew each other ever since middle school, and he was just always my dog. Like, I never looked at him as a boyfriend. Like, I never even liked him for real. But he was just cool as a friend. He low-key had a crush on me. He didn't tell me until I got to high school, because he was a year older than me. So I guess that's why he didn't tell me. He was a really good friend. Like, oh. I hate how you could just never be friends with a guy. I hate how they always have to like you. So. 
when I got to high school, he told me he liked me. But um, I'm finished. I don't even think I'm putting everything in this video because it's kind of hard for me to tell stories. Like, how am I a journalist? But it's a struggle for me to tell stories. Like, how? But this is my hair. It feels so soft. So I'm now I'm finna let this sit for two minutes, like the direction says. It's been two minutes. Now I'm finna get back in this up for the last time and rinse this out. tub and this is how my hair is looking but it feels soft i'm glad that i did this to my hair because i needed it i want to see how my heat damage is looking this treatment is also good if you have like heat damage and you're trying to bring your hair back to life i don't even see my heat damage because usually it's like hanging and it's shaking up my hair feels so much more better and stronger and soft like i wish you could feel it like Now I'm going to blow dry my hair and trim it just to top it off and make sure everything is healthy. I'm going to chill for right now for probably like 10 minutes because I have been up this whole time. I'm going to give myself a break and then get back to work. So I'm back for my little break. Now it's time to get to work. My hair did dry up a little bit. My hair feels so soft like I said earlier. And it hasn't felt this way in a long time so I'm glad that I just did what I did. Yeah. But now I'm gonna blow dry my hair. As for my heat protectant, I'm gonna use this Chi Iron Guard. I never used this before. This is my sister's, by the way. Having a sister is very beneficial because it's like, yeah, I use the same hair products. If you mean like, you could just go in her room and use all her stuff. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Just going to comb it out first. And then I'm just gonna spray this spray. Rub that in. I am done blow drying. It is 6.09. Can you see that? Can you see that? Okay, yes. I am very hungry right now. Like, all I ate today was breakfast. I'm super hungry. I don't know what I'm going to eat. I feel like I just want to cook dinner now because I'm hungry. But I'm finished blow drying my hair. Now all I have to do is trim and then figure out what style I want to do. I side y'all my ends is trimmed and everything so my best and i should not want to stay so i'm gonna have to put some scratches to um keep it tight overnight i have a total of 16 twists so four twists is in each bent to not i hope you've been enjoying this video so far give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below my room is dirty we need to clean our apartment so we're going to clean tomorrow i just wanted to dedicate today for doing my hair and getting it back to its healthy state so that's what we did we are almost finished so thank god thank you god and thank god I've been sitting in this bathroom for almost all day now. It's 7.15, so hopefully I can be done by 8.30. As you saw earlier, I just put the chicken in because I'm starving, so I'm probably just going to eat some chicken breast, rice, and a vegetable and call it a day. I'm going to do this side off camera and then probably come back to y'all tomorrow. And she's got her